now it's time for Power of Prophecy with your host, former professor at the University of Texas at Austin, career United States Air Force officer, and best-selling author, Tex Mars. Hello, friends. This is Tex Mars, and welcome to another edition of Power of Prophecy. Coming to you from Worldwide Christian Radio, we're being heard in well over a hundred countries around the world. How do we know? Well, we get mail and email and all kinds of things from our friends overseas. So glad to hear from you. And you know, it seems that the New World Order is progressing around the world and people everywhere are finding it. We're going to discover that today and giving you some of the secrets that we have today because this is another volume of our secrets. We do this once a month, cover a number of uh, matters, uh, news uh, behind the news <laughs> that the control media dare not touch. Well, Doris wrote to me, very interesting email. She said, this is unbelievable. She said, did you know that if an immigrant is over 65, they can apply for SSI and Medicaid and get more than my mom gets for Social Security. And she worked for 60 years as an American citizen. She is only getting $791 a month. But a refugee, an immigrant, gets a total of $2,470 a month. Now, friends, I'm going to stop right there. Doris asked me, she said, this is unbelievable, but it's true. And you know what? It is true. Let me explain this. You see, Congress passed a little-known law about 10 years ago. And under this law, if you are a Jew, now, let me, did you hear me say that? If you are a Jew and you come from any country in former Eastern Europe or Russia, you can get refugee status. Now, you can be a rich Jew. You can, be, you can own businesses, stocks. You can, as long as you come to America and you say, I'm a Jew. I come from Kazakhstan. I come from Belarus. I come from Latvia. I come from Lithuania. I come from Russia. <sighs> give me money. They will give you money. But wait. This person has never put in any money to the American Social Security system. Doesn't matter. They'll be given a refugee status. <laughs> and then they can get a total of $2,470 a month. Now, let's say a man and his wife decide they don't want to live in Russia anymore. So they come to America to live. And they'll get in America. You see, they don't have to wait for a quota because they're Jews. Jews do not wait for quotas. As many Jews as want to can come live in America. And once they live here, they go down to the local immigration service and they say, I'm a refugee. Okay. And they stamp their little paper. And then a man and his wife, for example, can go down and each of them say, I want to apply for my SSI and my Medicaid, my Social Security and assistance. And each one of them will get $2,470 a month. Together, that's a total of $4,930 a month. That's all $60,000 a year the Russian or the Latvian or the Lithuanian or the Polish or the Romanian couple get. $60,000 a month from the government because they're Jews. And they're going to live here forever. But if you're an American, this woman, she's my, my mom worked for 60 years. She only gets $791 a month. That's about, what, $9,500 or so a year? She gets less than $10,000. They get $60,000, and they're Russian citizens. They're not even Americans. They don't even have American citizenship. How did it happen? Did you know that a number of congressmen now have introduced legislation so that Jewish veterans can get all VA benefits, even military retirement pay? Now, I want to explain something to you. When I say Jewish veterans, I don't mean Jewish American veterans. I mean Jewish Russian veterans. 
Let's say that you were a Russian soldier, and you retired as a Russian, maybe a sergeant or a captain, in the Russian military, and your race is Jew, and you come to America to live. They have introduced legislation, certain senators and congressmen, that that person will get military retirement paid for by the Department of Defense of the United States for the rest of their life, even though they never served one day in American uniform, never saluted the American flag one time in their life. In fact, they may have run gulag concentration camps and killed people over in Russia because after all, those people were never prosecuted. Only people who ran German concentration camps and worked in them as guards, only they are prosecuted. If you're a Russian Jew and you were a commandant, of a Stalinist, a Leninist concentration camp, you were never prosecuted, and you can come live in America. And now our congressmen have the audacity to say, why these people served in the Russian military, they should get military retirement from the American military for the rest of their life, VA benefits, medical and so forth, for serving communism all those years. This is the kind of America... We're moving into, dear friends, and I'm here to warn you about it. These are secrets nobody will tell you about, but these things are happening here in America. And Social Security, remember the totalization plan that Bush has? And they've already put that into effect. If you're a Mexican, illegal alien, you can come here to America and get Social Security for the rest of your life. Doesn't it just make you mad? Of course it does. Then I get this letter from the sweet lady, Bertie, who writes to me. She says, Dear Tex, I am a born-again Christian from New Zealand, and I got your DVD entitled The Tower of Infamy, but it sounds like you are against the Jews. I believe it is very dangerous to speak out against God's people, the Jews. Would you please give some clarity on that? Now, let's get this straight, Bertie. You're a sweet lady, but let's get this straight. You believe that it's dangerous to speak out against the Jews? Now, first of all, you say because they're God's people. Hmm. Okay, now let's take the average Jew. The average Jew says Jesus is not the Lord. Jesus is an imposter. And you say that's God's people? Bertie, have you got a screw loose somewhere? Something wrong with your brain? I think something's wrong with your heart. You've been lied to. God's chosen people are those who believe in Jesus Christ. And they're of every race, every color. Don't you get it, Bertie? You must be born again like you were born again. But here's what I don't understand. You say, I am, I'm a born-again Christian from New Zealand. If you're a born-again Christian, are you one of God's people? You say, oh, no, that's just the Jews. Then you're denying Christ. And Christ says, if you deny me before men, I will deny you before the Father. Now, I know, Bertie, you're going to say, well, I'm a Gentile Christian. Really? Now, let me get this straight. You're a Gentile Christian, but you haven't been chosen by God. Hmm. You believe in Jesus, and you're a Gentile Christian, but you're not one of God's chosen. Well, what are you? One of Satan's chosen? You've got me confused, Bertie. You see, the Bible is not that complicated. Jesus said, if you believe that I am he, you will live forever. He didn't say, if you're a Gentile or a Jew, you'll live forever. If you believe in Jesus, that's all it takes. You're Abraham's seed and heirs to the promise. Bertie says, I don't believe that. I'm not Abraham's seed. I'm a Gentile. Oh, then you don't believe Galatians 3, verse 29. And if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Bertie, you're very, very confused. Let me clear it up for you. Forget your racism. You are a racist, Bertie, because you have exalted one race, the Jews, above all others, by even claiming that they're God's chosen people. 